really interesting today. I know I look crazy, you all, but I had took my hair out. And I was like, oh, well, okay, you can go to work looking like this. So, yeah, it was cute, but I think I just sweated out too much. But I just wanted to say good morning to everyone. Um, And I am getting off of work on my way home. So, yeah. So, it's had, it's been, it snowed last night. Well, yesterday it snowed. So, I'm going to, like, pay attention and focus on the road. Because I don't want to get into any accidents. Because nobody got time for any of that. And I love myself too much to be crashing. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, I'll just see you guys later. And, yeah. So, Later. Ooh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Hey guys, I'm home and look what came in the mail today. Uh, uh, I'm, I can't bend nothing out of here, so I don't need them. I'm going to drain. <laughs> I, I know. Swimsuits. Mm mm. They're cute though. They look really girly. But my body and one of them. No. Not not right now. But yeah, so I'm home, y'all. So I got my bonnet on. Because I'm about to try to take a nap. Keyword try. Which might not work. Cause the sun is coming up. So Yeah. But y'all why did i lose my badge at work like as soon as i was about to clock out i go check my coat pockets my badge is gone i took the trash can not in the trash like i feel really slow like how do you lose your badge five minutes before it's time to go home and also mystery for me too but yeah i'm about to try to um take a nap and then i was supposed to be trying to my attempt is to go to apple but then my attempt is to make some videos and just walk on faith of god because i don't know what else to do like i'm irritated but i've i vlogged a couple vlogs on my camera already from like the week ago so this vlog that's gonna come up will be like my attempt vlog this is a tryout so we shall see what happens but i don't really have anything to do today i don't have anything planned so i don't know if i should just talk about what I want to talk about in this is just including this, which I think I might just do. I think I might, what I want to talk about, I think I might just include with this vlog and just call it a day because I really don't have anything else to do. There's nothing going to happen. Um, I don't think I'm going to cook anything because I cooked yesterday. So, yeah, but I would say I'm about to attempt to try to get some sleep and try to drink some water it's weird like cold water kind of makes me go to sleep well it helps me if not then i'll just take a good old xanax Which, mm, never mind <laughs> i won't be out but it count nah but yeah so i'll see y'all guys in a little bit and then yeah, because y'all couldn't see my hair, but I actually like how my hair is. If I can really attempt, if I can try to just look like this more often, then um, I know it would be easier for me to just wear it like this for like a very long time. So, yeah. So, I'll come back and show y'all the story about my hair and my scalp and the unfortunate disaster has happened. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. So I had to cut my hair real quick and share this with y'all. So I tried, um, I was talking to a guy 
and um lately i just haven't been really feeling good and of course you'll find out you know at the end of this vlog why um so i goes to text him y'all so the first time i text him i text him hey you know like hey and so it says um the number that it says the number that i text and uh couldn't receive my message and it's a message blocking is active okay so i'm thinking like maybe it's talking about my phone so i go check my I, you know i thought i was talking about my phone so i check it okay my, my message my blocking ain't out i don't know nothing so i text it again just because i i thought it was a mistake and it says it again so i got blocked because why i don't feel good for the last couple of days. I haven't felt good for the last couple of days. And that I kind of have this thing where when I don't feel good. Or I'm like, no, I'm going to have like an attitude. Not even have an attitude, but I know I'm going to be like irritated. And things like that. I don't want to talk. So that's a problem. I'm supposed to talk to you every single day. No. Like, no. Like, there's nothing wrong with something every day, y'all. But. Y'all, like, come on, everybody needs a break. Like, it ain't that deep. But you know what? As I get older and... <laughs> Y'all probably like this girl crazy because she laughing. But as I get older, as I get older, and the more I try to date guys, and the more I tell them about my situation and, you know, my my goals and my standards and my morals, it becomes a very big problem. And because I don't want to talk to them every single day, all day long, that becomes a problem too. So guess what? You weren't the guy for me. I'm glad God closed that door. And life goes on. So, thank you. Thank you for moving to the side and letting the next guy that's going to come along and is going to completely understand, let him have his shine. May God bless you because... Mm, mm, mm. That's all I had to say, y'all, but I got to go. I'm about to come back. I just had to come back on here and tell y'all that, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So... I'm gonna get ready for work. I'm about to um go down. I mean, I'm about to go start my car up. And it's snowing. Like snowing. Get this. And I'm about to drive in this. Like, I don't even want to drive my car. Like, I hate snow. I hate it. But I had to come out here, start my car up. Because by the time I start my car up, and, um, you know, all that good stuff, I'll be all right. So that's what I'm trying to do. But y'all should see what I got on. Pray I don't get sick, look. <laughs> All right, let me clean this car up. I'll see y'all. Y'all, before I end the vlog, let me tell y'all something really cool, like quick. God is trying to be really funny and I'm not on his gang today. So, remember I told y'all I lost my badge, right? And I couldn't find it. I had checked all my pockets, y'all, before I left work. I checked my inside pocket. I checked both pockets. The jacket I have on abundant here does not have any pockets. I checked backtrack, backtrack all my steps, right? Why am I getting ready to go? And I pick up my jacket. Put my jacket on. Why I pick up my coat? Look what falls out. Y'all. Like, it just keeps reminding me to just trust God. Like, not to have no worries. Because I wasn't worried about my badge, literally. Like, I was like, oh, I think I lost my badge. Well, somebody will turn it in. 
I pick up this coat right here and look what falls out on the kitchen floor. I'm not for y'all, but it's just a lesson to tell y'all that when you trust in God, you have to trust fully in him and have no worries, have no fears, have no doubts. Because at the end of the day, he's going to always come through. And as we can see, he has came through. But I'm about to get ready to head out to go to work. So um, I just want to end my vlog saying that um, I hope everyone is, stays blessed, have a productive week, and that... Um, it can always be worse, y'all. Like, no matter what you're going through, it can always be. Your situation can always be worse. And you have to remember that someone has it worse than you. So, be grateful and be thankful for the situation that you're going through. Because it's preparing you for what God has for you in the next season. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey, guys! I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It was a trial and error nothing too serious i just wanted to get the feel of holding the camera and like just being comfortable with actually looking at myself on camera so yeah i hope you just guys enjoy a little bit of content that i can give but since i couldn't give enough um i decided to include this at the end of the vlog and um i want to call it a segment cake shares this is so corny who cares but um yeah and i wanted to give some insight to the second reason why i chose to do this youtube channel and um the second reason is that i wanted to share my journey with women out there um with the fact that i have uterine fibroids and i wanted to give insight on my life and not only to women but also to myself i wanted to document my journey of how i go from having my fibroids removed to dating and finding the the man guy or waiting for the man guy has for me and you know having a child and a family and just all that great stuff so i really was like oh okay you really got to document this because it's something i could look back on with my family something i could look back on with my children and show them like mommy went through a lot like i went through a lot and i'm I'm just grateful that um, I'm able to share my my journey with with if, with all women out there because I believe that um, you know we as women we have so much you know we give so much and we do a lot but people don't understand like as much as we go through you know that it doesn't it's not easy um, so this is another reason why I wanted to do it and. I'm just praying that this channel touches someone and reaches someone that can reach someone else. And um, it can just let them know that you're not the only one that's going through something. Like, we're all going through something. But I want us to share this journey together. So, I'm just going to give you a little back in, in backstory about my situation. Um, I have uterine fibroids, meaning I have fibroids in my uterus and fibroids are non-cancerous tumors that um again are in the uterus and they feed off of um menstrual blood meaning when you have a period when i have a excuse me when you have a period um they feed off the blood um they're not cancerous so you know that doesn't cause any type of um major effect um but they do cause an effect on my physical body wise um they can get the size of these of like this concealer um size of this to about the size of um i think they said a golf ball they can get bigger than that um so um the symptoms for if you don't know that you have uh uterine fibroids um some of the symptoms are heavy menstrual bleeding um if you had a menstrual and then you bleed and then you end up having like another one but it's really not a menstrual that's one of the signs um if you have abdominal pain um if you're pelvic have pelvic pain if you have back pain if you're gaining weight um, and you don't know why that is, that's also one of the signs. Um, I will have a 
description in the I will excuse me I will have a link in the description box so that if you want to find out more information you can go and do the research also um when I first found out that I had inner fibroids I didn't think of it like oh I just thought I mean I, I didn't think like it was gonna be something a big like I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal I didn't think it was gonna be something like major I was like oh okay I got inner fibroids okay well what can we do you know until um i started doing my research and i was on the women they were saying you know that they was always having periods every month and they was losing a lot of blood and the lady was like well i had to get two blood transfusions and one lady was like i had to get an iron transfusion because um you know because she was so weak and I was looking at myself like, God, thank you. Like, thank you so much because I could be going through what these women are going through. Yet, um, you know, it, I don't know. You know, even if I'm not having those type of symptoms, am I bleeding inside? Am I having some type of infection? But normally when, I, when I've been to the ER, you know, due to having like severe pelvic pain and like it hurts to pee and I don't know why I got like, nothing is like ibuprofen Motrin is nothing is helping um they don't say anything like they, they check my blood and they say okay well you're fine and they give me an ultrasound um oh my goodness when I started to at the time I would find out I had you know, fibroids, I was like sexually active so I was you know doing what I wanted to do and everything like that and well when I tell you that God works in mysterious ways he works for a reason and sometimes you just have to let him work um I remember like being sexually active and I used to always be in pain after and I couldn't understand why so when I went to the emergency room one day because I was just in so much pain, y'all. I couldn't, like, I was crying. Like, I'm, I, that's my man. I was in a fetal position trying to understand why am I in so much pain. So, and this was, like, a week later after I was doing whatever I was doing. So, you know, I asked the doctor. And I was like, well, you know, um, as they get bigger, um, they push more out. And he was like, I'm like, they push, you know, they, they can make you make your stomach protrude more and he was like yeah i was like and also can name also make your um i was like can they also hurt after a while and he was like yeah because you know anybody who knows when you're having sexual intercourse um you know there's pressure and for me there was pressure and bleeding so that freaked me out and that was my point right there when i was like okay like you can't do this anymore like you cannot have fun and i'm thankful and grateful that I stopped because I don't know what damage I could have been doing I don't know what could have happened but um having uterine fibers has changed my outlook not on just life but on myself it made me look at myself completely different because at first you know I was thinking like oh my god I can't have a kid I would never get pregnant never have a child no man is gonna want to be with me because I can't have a kid like, what am I going to do? And I used to, I used to cry every night, y'all. Like, I'm never going to find anybody. And then one day, I was just like, this is a reason. You know, like, this is the reason why I have, you know, by the way, there is a reason why I'm in the season that I'm in. There is a reason why dating is so hard for me because I'm at this point in my life, I'm not having sex. Um, I am not doing anything sexual, -wise, like nothing, period, because anything you do can lose, can lead to having sex. And me personally, I don't want to do it because one, it hurt, like I have, you know, it hurts. And two, having sex with someone that is not going to be my husband or, you know, having a potential of being anything in my life like a boyfriend a fiance it's it's so point like it's so pointless it's worth it's like it's not worth it and when i date guys or talk to guys or whatever and um you know we don't get far or they stop talking to me i i feel great because I didn't give up nothing like, oh, okay, you gonna go on. Well, I, I didn't have sex with you. I wasn't kicking it with you that hard. So, okay, cool. But 
it made me look at myself like God is preparing me for something. And I get, like I said, I, I thought that, you know, um, at first I was being punished because I was, you know, out here in the world and I was trying to be on the Lord. I was trying to be all about, okay, if, you, if I do this, um, if, if I be good for this right here, I would get this. And then I'll go and mess with some guy who was not for me, who was never supposed to be part of my life. And then I end up back by myself at square one trying to figure out, like, okay, well, what did I do wrong? So having you know having fiber, having uterine fibers for me is a blessing because it lets me stay focused on the truth which is myself it lets me be focused on the majority of things in my life which is God and my family and my friends and the new blessings that are coming into my life like it makes it helps me stay focused um I can say that it kind of is like bitter I have bittersweet days where um, like I see my God child and I just be like, oh, she's so precious and I'd be like, oh, I want that. Yet I know that if I was to have a kid right now or had a kid at another, at, you know, earlier in a, in an age, um, I don't think it would, it would be, um, I know it would be amazing, but it wouldn't be like so worth it because I rushed to have a kid and I rushed to be with someone. Um, also, by having inner fiber, it just made me realize like everything takes time. You know, um, I've been, I have my days where I'm in pain. I have my days where um, I don't know like why I'm in pain and things like that, but. Um, it's just, I don't know. It just makes me think about life, you know what I'm saying? But I want the women out there who may have these symptoms, who probably are going through this, to go get yourself checked out. Um, I am, I, I see the doctor in March um, because I have to have surgery to remove them. And the surgery that I have to have is a hyster, hysteracopy. Um, I, th I think there's another name for it, but again, I'll put a link in the description box. Um, and it's going to remove the fibroids for me so that I am able to have a child and be able to have a normal life. Um, having inner fibroids, I have gained a lot of weight. I used to be like, not little, little or tiny, but I used to be like a nice size and you know, I didn't got like a little stomach and I kind of look like I, I could be pregnant, but I'm not. Okay. Um, but you know, and I used to be so depressed y'all when I gained a lot of weight. Like I was so depressed. And I used to cry every day. Like, why am I getting all this weight? Why am I always hungry? And I like, literally I have like pregnancy cravings and that's just part of, that's part of the, you know, part of what I have going on. But I used to be depressed and everything. And then I had prayed to God, like, I don't know why I'm going through this. I don't know what it is that you have me going through. I don't know why this is happening to me. But whatever the reason is, like, I know I have to trust you. And I know I have to depend on you and lean on you. Because can nobody get me out of the situation but you and the people that you have placed you know what I'm saying, in your place to make sure that I get better. And I think I, after that, I'm, I've been good. I've been great. Um, come to dating, it is so hard to date because I'm not having sex. And it is like, it's not even that I can't. I just don't want to. Um, I, I really like I want to take my time because back then I was rushing with guys and trying to get there and get here. And now it's like I really know God has someone for me and he has everything that I want planned out just for me. And I can't just sit up here and lay up with any man. I can't just date any man. I can't just talk to any man. Like I just can't have, I can't have what God has for me with just any man and it has to be someone that God approves so 
you know, when it comes to dating, I tell guys like, oh, well, you know, I can't, I'm, I'm not having sex. And, um, you know, the th like, you know, I'm not sleeping at your house and things like that. It becomes a problem. So like, oh, okay. You know, and they talk to me for like a week and then I don't hear from them. And then I just be like, you know, to me, that shows a weak man. It shows me that you're weak because honestly, you can get sex from anywhere. Like for real, y'all, we know that. But I know that if the man that God has for me is going to be patient, he's going to stand by my side, he's going to understand that what I have to give to him is going is amazing. Like it's just lit. It's so bomb. So you know what God has for me is also going to be on part. It's going to be given to him. So why not we can't be lit together like right now like why we just can't just roll you know walk down the sidewalk to get a hold of hands like why we gotta do everything else like it's so annoying but it it has opened my eyes to the it made me realize like to love myself more to know that the things that i want are the things that God has promised me and ain't no man taking that away. Nobody's gonna tell me that what I want is not realistic and that the goals in the in the com and the goals that I have set for myself and the morals and values I have set for myself are not realistic. Like that's not gonna no. Um like all I'm doing is rolling with the punches. I guess like I said, I have my ups and downs. Um some days I'm happy go lucky, I'm fun and some days I'm just in pain. I don't want to be bothered. Also, having uterine fibers can affect you mentally and physically. Um, I'm very anemic. So, I get tired quickly. Especially when I, have a, when I have a period, I am exhausted. So exhausted. And mentally wise, I'm just like, why am I here? Like, I start... It was one day I had suicidal thoughts and I envisioned myself stabbing myself in the arm. And the crazy thing was I felt that pain. When I felt the pain and I visually saw my face looking at my arm and I just, and how I just was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like I broke down crying. I was just like, Lord, remove the negative thoughts. Remove anything that's in my mind that's making me not like what I'm going through because y'all have like literally having you know, it, it affects you mentally it kind of it, it makes you, you you can't be depressed um because there's nothing you can do the only thing you do is take medication pain medication and you know wait to have your surgery done they're really the only two things you can really do depending on how severe um your fibroids are but I had to really get out of that bubble because I knew it was the devil and I knew he wanted me to start think, going back to thinking negative and start saying, oh, well, ain't no, I ain't gonna never be with nobody. I ain't gonna never have no kid. Ain't no man gonna ever wanna be with me. Um, you know, I'm gonna always be alone because I can't do this with this person. And I had to get out that zone. But I'm grateful and I'm thankful because like I always say, to my family and my friends and to myself like it could always be worse someone out here has it worse than me with uterine fibers like someone out here is laying up in the hospital right now getting a blood transfusion or landing the house and getting iron you know or laying up in the hospital you know probably on their trying to figure out like why they keep having these problems so i just look at my situation as it can always be worse um i, I left it in god's hands i'm not worried anymore i have no worries i have no fears oh excuse me like i'm not I'm not thinking about it it's it's okay you know so yeah but to all my women if you are having any kind of symptoms no matter what it is um please go get checked i i encourage you all to get checked i encourage you all to get checked get checked take care of yourself love yourself first you have to take, you have to take care of you first before you can take care of anybody else so i pray that this video was helpful um if you haven't liked like this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so i can share my journey with you and that 
we can share this journey together and i love you all oh may god continue to bless you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>